My name is Dan Poitrast. I'm an engineer with Tegmart. Today I'd like to talk about our 15 watt air cooled thermoelectric generator module. Now this is the module right here. You can see it's a pretty small form factor and it's really simple to use. What you do is you place it on your hot wood stove and at this point in time you really have to wait. Actually I'll flip it this way. All my devices are over there. At this point in time what you have to wait for is the fan to turn on now when the fan turns on, that's an indicator that you can begin to plug your devices into it. If you do it before the fan's turned on, what you're going to do is overload this unit and the fan will never start up. So let's just wait a minute or two. All right, so this unit's going now. The fan is spinning. Um, we placed it on the wood stove and about 45 seconds to a minute later it started to kick on. And you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan is moving rather quickly right here. Um, now at this point, I have a couple devices over there that I want to show you operating with this module. The first thing I'd like to show you is this cord right here. As you can see, this is a normal 12 volt adapter. A lot of devices that you have, you know, that plug into your car and stuff like that will work right with this. It also has a USB jack on it as well. So you could plug in, you know, your smartphone with your USB cable right to here if you wanted to. All right. Now, So you plug it right in here, screw down the collar. All right, so I have a 12 volt adapter with a little USB connection on the back of it. Now you can plug any 12 volt adapter into this thing. Any of them will work. Um, now I'm going to plug this in. And as you can see right here, I have a tablet and the tablet is currently charging at the moment. Now the big thing to watch out for whenever you plug any device into this cord particularly is to make sure your fan is still spinning. If your fan stops spinning at that point in time, you really want to take the load off of it or you could damage the thermoelectric generator. In addition, um, I have a smartphone here. I can plug this guy in. As you can see, this is charging as well. All right, as I mentioned before, you do have your USB adapter on here as well. So I can plug this, if I get it the right direction, right into here. And you can see the phone is charging off this as well. So either of them work. If you don't have one of these adapters, there is one built right into the cable. All right, as you can see, I've hooked this other cable up. And this is with alligator clips, but we also have cables that can adapt straight up to lights. Um, this right here is a LVL2. We also sell these at Tegmart. And as you can see, turn this on and it's 10 watts worth of LED light. Um, something like this, I mean, is incredibly useful if you have a cabin that's off grid, you know, so you don't have power run out there and you need lighting at night. You can pull your power right off these, have light for your cabin. All right, what I have here is a diversion circuit hooked up to a battery, so it's charging a battery. Now, just like the other ones, you plug this cable right into the generator and then hook it up to your battery. And what you'll see here is this thing right now is flashing on and off. Whenever it's flashing on, it's sending charge to your battery. When it's off, it's allowing the thermal electric generator to recharge itself and get its power built back up with it. Now, if your stove is hot enough, it's gonna stay in a constant on mode, or if you have one of our bigger generators. Um, the neat thing about this is it'll allow your generator not to get burdened down. So your fan's never gonna stop with it the circuit will ensure that happens. Now, with this battery, what you could basically do is have this battery charging during the day while you're out, and then at night, you could switch off and have your lighting system set up, running off all of the same generator. I mean, it's basically, a, that's a power supply that has multi-purposes to it. All right, I wanted to talk a little more about the control box here. This box employs our patent pending technology that we found in the stove light. Um, the stove light really helped us out with figuring out a lot of the challenges with thermoelectric generators. Now this box right here has a boost buck regulator in it. So I can start charging those batteries at around 8 volts or so and it'll just bump up the voltage and charge the batteries. And then if this generator makes more than enough voltage to charge the batteries, it'll buck it back down to put it to the right voltage. Now these two alligator clips you see in my hand are connected to the units. This was the one that was connected to the battery before. Now if I take these two and short them out together, as you can see, the fan is still running right now. 
Now, if I had done this without that control box right there, what would have happened is the fan would have stopped running and the unit would have been destroyed. So it really, I mean, the control box really helps a lot with this unit. In addition to the accessories, another unique thing about these generators is all of them help move air. Now, the 15 watt unit, which isn't seen here, this is the 30 watt unit, can move up to 50 CFMs of air. The 30 watt unit can move up to 100 CFMs of air and the 45 watt unit also moves 100 CFMs of air.